Let's continue the tier list ranking. In this round we will take a look at the support specs. This one will be a bit different compared to the previous one because I will include the healing builds in the equation. Now about the procedure. Like last time I will pick the specs at random and provide a bit of information about each one and why I think it fits in that tier. The tiers are the same as last time with B, A, S and the two special tiers for some outliers. Ok, let's start. I think I will start with Renegade since it's always at the bottom of the list. Ok, Renegade is a good support class. It can do alacrity support, both heal and DPS, but the heal build is not as good compared to the herald and the DPS support build can provide some protection, might and fury in addition to alacrity. But it's not as good as it used to be. So honestly I think this is a B tier support. Let's pick another spec. Maybe the die to continue the trend. So, that die was really good right after it had quickness added to it. The damage was insane, but of course it was nerfed more than it should have been. But now we're not looking at the DPS. In terms of support, the die has only a DPS version, which provides might, fury and quickness. The rotation feels good and the damage is decent. But like Renegade, there should be more boons on that list, so for me the die is a B tier support. Next I will go with Scourge, the spec that was played as support even without quickness or alacrity. It was because of the heal Scourge build, of course, but still that is an achievement. Now it can be both DPS and heal alack. It still has some resurrection power and a good amount of boons. So I think this is a good support spec. The healing focuses more on barrier application than pure healing, so for me this puts it in A tier. Ok, now let's see where Mechanist fits in this list. This became meta after End of Dragons launched and it was tuned over time and not as affected by nerfs as the DPS builds, so Mech is a very good support with a lot of boons. It has both heal and DPS support builds and a simple playstyle. In my opinion this is a solid choice for a support and I will put it in S tier. Let's go with Tempest now. I used this so many times after they changed the alacrity generation from being at the end of an overload and it felt a lot better to use, especially when you had to do a mechanic and interrupt the channeling. Now I do not see it as often in pugs, but it's still as good as ever with both heal and DPS support builds and it provides plenty of boons. The only thing I don't like is that it can provide one stack of stability and ages, but at least it has them, so this will be an S tier support. Oh, we do not have any ranger spec on the board yet. Let's go with untamed now. The quickness support that can do both heal and DPS, but the main focus is the DPS build since healing is something that works but it's not that good compared to druid for example. The support DPS build however is very good with decent damage and plenty of buffs, with the exception of stability which should be fixed in the next SOTO release when maces are added for ranger. As for the tier, this fits in A tier for now, because of that missing stability. Let's go with Farbrand now, the king of support, or at least the king past its glory, because the Farbrand support is not as OP as it used to. It's still a meta choice in a lot of content, it has everything you need, stability, ages, might, fury, resolution and a lot more, with builds for heal and DPS support. This is still a great choice, maybe not as fun to play as it used to, but still a solid S tier support in my opinion. Next I will pick Chronomancer, a spec used a lot and seen a lot in groups from LFG, and I have seen it more in the heal variant than the DPS one. But really after the last update this is a great class for any kind of support, it has tons of ages and stability, it's easy to learn, at least compared to the full DPS build, and it is easy to keep up these bones. I honestly think this is a firebrand in the good old days. Actually maybe it's the chrono in the good old days. So this is an easy S tier spec. Actually this makes more sense to be in the super mega top tier because it has great healing, a lot of buffs, a lot of defense to keep you alive without defensive stats. Oh and I almost forgot, it can do either quickness or alacrity with the same build and gear and the playstyle is the same for any of them. And now to a warrior spec, let's pick Bladeswarm for the first round. The spec is a good and stable support, it is more of a DPS support, but it can do heal support too if you really want. 
I think waiting for the stuff is a better idea. Until then, use the DPS support build, because it has good damage, and if you want more boons, you need to sacrifice a bit of DPS. But you have plenty of boons available. So, Bladesworn is an A tier support spec for me. Let's continue with Warrior and pick Berserker now. Another support build that was really resurrected in the previous balance patch. It's finally usable and doesn't feel that bad to play. Unlike Bladesworn, it has only a DPS support build. But the DPS part of the support is very good as it seems it can bench really high. There are plenty of boons too if you sacrifice a bit of DPS. So I think this also fits in A tier. Let's go with Scrapper now. Another resurrected support build. I mean resurrected hill support build, because the DPS was fine. The spec was buffed in the last patch and it feels a lot better to play now. You have plenty of boons too, and more barrier in addition to healing on the hill build. The DPS support build is also really good and does a lot of DPS in addition to quickness. You also provide super speed, which makes the combat running bearable. This is a great spec in my opinion and it fits in S tier now. Time for Catalyst, the quickness support which I really enjoy playing, especially in open world. I'm also curious how it would work with Ritualist gear and the hammer compared to the power version. There is also a heal variant for this, but I don't think it actually works in real scenarios since you need to switch elements fast and then for healing you should be more in water and it already sounds complicated. The DPS support build is still ok, you provide a few boons in addition to quickness and the uptime can be decent with some concentration on your gear, but looking at all the other options, this is rarely picked in random groups, so B tier for Catalyst. Let's go with Herald, which had some nice updates lately and it is now a great support spec with both DPS and healing builds. For the healing build it finally got access to Aegis and the shield healing was buffed, which was the only thing missing to have it as a great healing option. As for the DPS build, there isn't anything left to say actually. It does good DPS, it has a lot of boons with easy uptime and a lot of break bar damage when needed. I think this is a top... Actually, this should be in the same category as Chrono. Mega support tier it is. Next I will pick Harbinger. A really nice support spec with easy access to quickness and not much need for bond duration as long as you're in shroud. I think there is a build for heal harbinger out there but I have never seen it in pugs so let's focus only on the DPS build. Harbinger is a very good quickness provider and has access to other boons too. It can even provide all boons with the elite elixir for a short time. Which makes it a good support for me but it's not enough to go to S tier. So I think this is more of an A tier spec. Now let's go with Vindicator. Ah, the complicated support spec. It has some traits made for support, either heal or DPS, but it doesn't provide any quickness or alacrity, so almost everyone avoids it. I think it sees some play in World vs World, but it's been very long since I have been there. As for the tier that it should be in, I think we need to add another one, because it does have some support, but is barely usable. So then this will fit in the newly added C tier. Almost support. Ok, let's pick Druid now. A support spec since it was created and recently got alacrity added to its boon list. It can do some DPS support too but it's mostly used for healing, which it does very well. It has access to both ages and stability, so a good overall spec in my opinion. I think with the recent changes to pets and the improvement to alacrity, it is an S tier spec again. Next I will pick Mirage. Mirage support was kinda left in the dust for a while because of the stacks build nerfs. And then since alacrity was separated to a trait, it became a decent support. It has only a DPS build, but the DPS is good again, so it is a viable build. The boon application is good too, the only problem is that it needs a target to generate alacrity. So I think this is a B tier support spec. Time for Tiff again, I will pick Spectre this time. A build that I enjoy playing as an alacrity support. It was nerfed a bit as it could do a lot of damage and provide alacrity without sacrificing much. And now it requires a few ritualist pieces. But the damage is still good and the boon application is great. At least for the DPS build. There is also a heal build, but uh, it can be a bit challenging to use if you need burst healing 
because you need to select the targets. I know you can play it better in action mode, but I was not able to. So this is an A tier for me. Let's finish up with Tiff and pick their Devil 2. Another support spec without the quickness or alacrity bones. It used to be a thing before for some encounters, but now it's not even used, so we have the same situation as we did with Vindicator. And this means it will go in C tier. And now Wallbender, the build that was reborn and it became meta. It can even heal you with a hammer. After the recent balance patch, this is a great support spec, with both heal and DPS builds. I have even seen it in a few groups, and the reason for that is because it can easily provide alacrity, might, fury, and then the stability, ages, protection and everything else Guardian can provide is already there. So S tier for me. If we combine Firebrand with Woolbender, I think we can get that spec in the super mega support tier. But for now S will be the place for Woolbender. And now for the special specs that do not provide any support. I will just quickly add all of them here since they are DPS only builds. They still share some might and fury, which definitely helps the group, but that's not really support. Okay, this looks much more spread out than the DPS tier list, but at least there is a support spec for each class, so no one can feel left out. What do you think about this list? Do you agree with it? Let me know in the comment section below. See you next week! If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.